I'm Marco with our washers at washmart.com. We're going to do a bunch of different things on this video today, but I'm going to show you how to put on a downstream injector. This is one of many ways to do it, but this is where the water is going through from the house to the inlet to the hose reel. Every time you get a downstream injector, it's going to have an arrow pointing the direction it's going to go. On this case, it's going this way, which is consistent with how my stuff is plumbed. We know that it's working. It's not blocked. Now we connect our pressure hose. This is an interesting way to see how it works. Coming out of the other end. Oh, oh, I got a ball valve on the other end. All right. This is one way I can actually tell if we're working. There's water coming out. And I feel suction right here. Now listen to that. Hear that noise? Means it's not trying to siphon anymore. It's trying to siphon. The higher the pressure, the higher the back pressure, the harder it is for this to siphon. Whenever this is at low pressure, this is being introduced with the chemical going this direction. Okay? Whenever it has high pressure, the chemical is trying to enter, but the pressure is so high it cannot enter the stream of water, which is the reason why whenever you use a pressurized tip, it no longer draws. That's the reason why you got to use a low pressure nozzle. All right. So this is something that's pretty interesting to know about is whenever you have positive pressure coming from a garden hose figure through your machine, like a direct drive cart with what you have it, you can actually have this siphon and I can probably even clean this house without even turning the machine on because right now it's going to be drawing chemical and I can actually hit this just at the positive pressure from the house and it will actually downstream. I've done this whenever I ran out of gas, believe it or not. That's how I found out this is totally a thing and it totally works. Just one interesting fact, you can still downstream. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and downstream right now. Watch this. That's definitely suds that's on there. I don't use an extremely sudsy surfactant. But I'm downstreaming this house right now without even having the machine run. That's how you downstream without turning the power washer on.